This is John Leak with a report from the shop. I've got this uh, Sarco Type M window glazing putty. And it's from a five gallon bucket of the putty that I bought in 2007. As that was getting down to the bottom of the bucket, I repacked it into these one quart containers. That was May of 2010. And then in 2016, I was using some of it. So let's see what that looks like now in 2019. I've got it uh, packed with a piece of 6 mil poly sheeting. That's why I always pack up putty when I'm done with it. And you can see in there, there's a little skin of putty that was right next to the plastic. And there's some of the putty. Still feels fairly soft. So I think I'll just get this whole lump out of there and see what it's like. I'm going to see if this is actually still usable. Just go around the edge here with my putty knife to loosen it up. I'll see if I can get that out of there all in one lump. Maybe I can. All right, came out pretty good. Still feels soft and nice on the bottom and on the sides. On the top here that was next to that poly sheeting, it's just a thin film that's skinned over. So I'll try and cut that off. Whenever I'm working with putty, I like to have a little whiting on my hands. Helps keep the putty from sticking to them. So I'll just see if I can just slice or peel off that thin skin. Looks like it's going to peel right off. And also, just around this ridge, there's a little bit of dried putty. So I think I'll just slice that out of there. A few little bits of that skin left in there. So that all looks like waste. But this, it's a little short, but by short I mean it like pulls apart and doesn't stretch out. It might be a little shy on oil. So I think I'll knead that up. And uh, one traditional way to knead putty is with a mallet, putty mallet. I kind of like that. Fold it over, beat it down again. I learned about the putty mallet in a 1870s trades manual. That was talking about mixing up your own putty. And I think I'll just add a little bit of oil to that while I'm mixing it. So I'm using Allback boiled linseed oil. 
I find that's the good stuff. And I'll just add a little bit. I won't bother pouring it out. I really don't need that much. So I'll just dip a little out with this stick. That's maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon I've added in there. So I'll just fold that over. And knead it out. I think I'll add a little whiting there just to keep it from sticking to my board. Fold it over. Fold it over. Now that's been sitting in there since 2016, three years ago. So you can see it's short, it's cracking up. So I call that characteristic short. Adding a little oil will make it a little longer. I noticed that one thing that happens when I had that layer of oil in there, when I beat on it with the mallet it was squirting out. So I'm just going to turn that away from me. So that's uh, feeling a little better now. Sometimes the shortness will work out of uh, old putty like this. Just by working it, you have to get it used to moving. So I notice the mallet's working a little better if I hit it on the edge of the mallet instead of a full flat. So you can see I'm just folding it in half and beating on it. I think that's about seven times I folded it in half. I found that by beating on it and folding it like this, about 15 or 16 times. Gets the putty pretty thoroughly remixed. So that's about 10 times. try and get these ragged edges folded into the middle of it. Okay, that's about 14 times, and it sure feels a lot better, but you can see it's still kind of short. So I think I'm going to work some more putty into that. I mean, not more putty, some more oil. Now, mixing anything like this in means that it's going to take another 16 folds to really get it mixed in there good. Alright, I'll come back when I've got that done 16 times.
Okay, now that's 16 times. Now you can see it's just a lot more pliable. And you can see it's not as short. I can stretch it out before it breaks a little more than before. So that's a little longer. I think that's just about right for glazing. All right. I think that's gonna work just fine. Old Sarco Time M certainly tools nice and I expect that it'll last as long as a brand new fresh batch. Okay, one little lump left. Might as well save it. I'll just pack it back into this container. This is my usual practice. Just pack it back in there so there's no air pockets. And then put a little disc of uh, six mil poly sheeting on top of it. arrange that so that the edges of the plastic meet the insides of the container. Damp out all the air pockets. Looks good. All right, using two thousand. 19. So we'll see how long this uh, circle will last. I'll just toss that back on the shelf and use it another time. Sarco Type M. Gotta love it.